this video, we have a request from a subscriber on how we can search an Excel sheet using values from a separate Excel sheet. We'll take those values that we search for and create a new data frame. Let's jump right in. First, let's look at the Excel sheets that we have provided to us. In this workbook, we have a column called code, and these are the values that we'll be using to search a separate Excel sheet. In our second Excel workbook, we have a lot of information, and we have an IDs column. We'll be using this column to search for the values from our first Excel workbook. Whenever we find that two of those values are equal, we need to pull out the ID column and place that into a third data frame. So our output will look something like this. We'll have the two columns from the first Excel workbook, and then we'll copy over the ID from the second Excel workbook. This is pretty similar to a VLOOKUP command in Excel, but we'll talk about some of the advantages of using Python to do this. Open up a text editor, and the first thing we need to do is to import the packages that we'll be using. So we'll be using pandas, so import that as pd, and then we'll import numpy as mp. Next, we need to specify the path of each Excel workbook. So the initial workbook will be equal to a.xlsx. This was the title of the first Excel workbook. The second one we'll call info workbook, and this will be v.xlsx. And then we want to create a name for our output workbook. We'll say output workbook is equal to output.xlsx. Now we need to convert these to data frames. So we'll say df initial is equal to pd, so pandas read excel, and then we'll pass in the first workbook, initial workbook. We'll do the same thing with the information one. So df underscore info is equal to pd dot read excel, and then info workbook. I'll verify that we've read these in successfully by saying print df initial dot columns, and then print df info dot columns. And then we'll go ahead and open up a terminal or a command prompt and we'll cd into the directory that has all the excel files. Now we'll say python3 and then the name of my file is search excel sheets dot py. We've successfully read in the two data frames because we can see the columns here. We saw that in the first excel workbook we have the columns of code and expression which are represented here and then we have all this information from the info workbook. We'll go ahead and comment these out and then we'll close the terminal. To do this operation, we'll use the pandas merge function. However, first, let's go ahead and change the column name, that way it makes it easier on us later on. What we'll do is we'll rename that column in the df initial workbook. We'll call in the workbook here, and then we'll say dot rename, parentheses, columns, will be equal to curly brackets. We'll say the name of that column is code, and we'll change it to the same name as the column that has our information in the info workbook, so IDs. We'll use the keyword in place and set this equal to true. This is just saying that we don't want a copy of this column, but we want to actually change that column heading. Now we'll go ahead and make the data frame that we want to output to that third Excel sheet. We'll say df underscore three will be equal to pd dot merge. So we're calling in the function merge from the pandas package. We'll set the workbooks that we want to merge. So we'll say df underscore initial, and then we'll say df underscore info, and then we'll specify the columns using two square brackets. The first one will be the keywords that we want, so IDs, and then the second one will be the one that we want to look through, so ID. And now we need the keyword argument of on to specify which column we want to do this merge on. We'll say IDs for this. Then we'll say how we want it to be placed by using the keyword of how, and then we'll say to the left. Now we'll drop down and print DF3, save our file. We'll open back up the terminal, and then we'll execute the file. When we print this, we see that we have a data frame that has the desired output that we're looking for. There's only a couple things that we need to change to make it perfect. We need to change this column back to the name of code, and we need to drop the NAN values from this column. So we'll change the name of this column by doing the same function that we did here. And what we'll do is we'll say df underscore three. We'll take this line of code, copy it, paste it here, and we'll just reverse these. So instead of IDs, we'll say code. And then instead of code, we'll say IDs. Now to get rid of the NAN values, we'll say data frame three is equal to data frame three, and we'll use the function replace. We'll say dot replace. We'll specify what item we want to replace. So this is a NumPy NAN, which are just these values here. And then we'll say what we want to replace these with. So let's replace these with an empty string. We can do that with two single quotes. And then we'll say regex is equal to true. Let's print df underscore three again to make sure that we get the result that we want and execute our file again. We've changed that column heading back to code the way it was before and we've also dropped all the NANs. The last thing we need to do is to export this to an Excel file. 
we can do that by saying df underscore dirt dot to excel and then we'll pass this to the output workbook variable that we created at the beginning we'll go up and copy this paste it here and then let's get rid of the index because we didn't have that before to do this we can just say index is equal to false now when we execute this we should have all the values that we expect in our output workbook but now that we've made the script let's talk about why we may want to do this instead of using vlookup in excel the first reason is that the speed may be important to us pandas is a vectorized package and that just means that the operations happen a lot faster than doing them one by one excel is also quick but sometimes python can outperform excel in certain situations the second reason is that it's very easy to break functions in excel workbooks Sometimes, if we're not the only one using a workbook, it's very easy for someone to drag and drop equations across a workbook and break the entire thing. In Python, it's very programmatic and we don't have to worry about that. Excel is very good at navigating through workbooks, but Python does a great job whenever we have more than just Excel workbooks and we have other data sources we have to consider. I hope this script is useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.